what's up what's up my good people welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Samuel and welcome to today's episode and today I decided to show you something that is contrary to what I've been showing you all the time so you cannot be in a city yet you're not showcasing the development that are happening in that city and so stay tuned because I'm going to be showing you the newly commissioned uh, bridge that is here in Mombasa that is Makuba, Makupa Kibarani bridge I hope you're going to enjoy this video and I hope you're going to like the progress that the government of the Republic of Kenya is doing so stay tuned and remember to subscribe let my glasses and I also did my hair how do I look guys so let's go so guys welcome back so before I showcase all I show you this bridge I want to give you a little fact files that you're supposed to know more about this bridge and the reason behind the construction of this bridge. So, previously, there was a bridge that was con constructed in 1929 by the colonial or the British who colonized the Republic of Kenya. And it has been existing here for as much as 1920s. And... Uh, a few years ago, that is I think 2018, the government of Kenya decided to proclaim a section of this bridge or to demolish the previous bridge that was there. That is the, the initial Makufa bridge was demolished and the construction of a new bridge began. This bridge has costed 4.5 billion. Kenya shillings to just construct this bridge. So guys, you're going to tell me, is it worth that amount of money? According to the design that has been done here and uh, also the work that has been done over here a couple of years ago and the designs and the company that was given the mandate to develop or construct this bridge. So guys, you're gonna tell me if it's worth it or not so let's jump in the video and let me show you how the, this bridge looks like because it's amazing i feel like wow it's going to ease so much congestion that is happening here in mombasa and it's going to open mombasa to outside market that is it's going to be amazing so stay tuned and you're gonna tell me how you think about it so guys initially that path from there all this way this is the previous bridge that was constructed so many years ago and uh, it was demolished in 22 2018 to open the construction of this bridge you can see how it looks like there are these gardens that prevent someone from falling all over to the other side and there is a pathway where i'm walking right now as you can see and uh, it comprises of 20 meter rails that is from where I'm standing here from here all the way to the other side those are 20 meters and an additional 2 meters foot walk or foot, foot bridge walk whereby you can and motorist or uh, people can walk over so this is how it looks like you can tell there are street lights that have been put over here and uh yeah so guys please can you just tell me what do you think about this construction the construction of this this bridge so this bridge has been financed by the national government and the cons contract was given to a Chinese company uh, can I remember the name of the Chinese company uh, China company telecommunication something like that but I can't remember the name so that is it still construction is still ongoing over here so let me show you something here The Republic of Kenya, the Mahuka Bridge, was officially commissioned by His Excellency 
Honorable Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta uh -huh. and the Commander in Chief of the Republic. Uh -huh. You can tell when it was commissioned. It's just a few days ago, 4th of August 2022. And those who don't know, uh, Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta is the outgoing President of the Republic of Kenya. So, guys, it's only one lane that is used by motorists. So, I don't know when this, this lane is going to be open to the motorists to use the path. Maybe a few couple of months, or maybe they are waiting for maybe to be dry or something like that. And so, you can see over here. This is an open uh, area. So guys, this is an open area whereby you can uh, see the ocean from here, from this above here. Woo! It's crazy, man. Look. Man, don't ever joke with uh, engineers. Engineers have great mind. Wow. You are able to, they are able to construct a bridge or an overpass above the ocean. Look, it's amazing. So guys, this is one of, uh, part of the projects that the government of Kenya has put in place for the sake of giving a city a new face, you know? So guys, let me show you the bridge that has been existing here since 1920s. That is the bridge, this one, from there all the way to that side. So you can imagine how strong that bridge is. Since 1929, wow. That is a, it's a lot of years. And over the other side, you can see flags of each and every country. That is magical, that's amazing. So guys, you can see there, are, there is so many the things that have not yet been uh, finished or final touches are yet to be complete because uh, you can see there is construction that are uh, still ongoing over here. So, so maybe after final touches, all that soil you can see over there is going to be removed and the, the water from the other side and uh, this from that side that's from there from somewhere there you can see that is the ocean over there and this is the uh, like an embankment that has prevented water from that side to maybe uh, close over to the other side so let me, I will show you over the other side let me show you the final touches that are yet to be complete over here. So guys, this is how the bridge looks like from uh, below here because the way I'm going down right here is the I think the downside of the bridge and that's how the bridge looks like you can tell the engineers have been doing an amazing work to accomplish this work so this is how the bridge looks like from below here and that was the previous bridge the makupa previous bridge that was uh, been here over the years look that's how the bridge looks like that's where the non-motorist or motorist will be passing where that person is standing.
So, and this is the Indian Ocean. Imagine. You know, this path I'm walking through, it has been like turn and turn and tons of soil have been put over here just for the sake to prevent water from coming from this side to this side or the water from this side coming to this side to ease the passage of materials that was, were being used to construct this bridge. After it's complete, the, all this soil that you can see is going to be removed and uh, water from this side will be able to flow to the other side and the other side, water from this side will be able to flow to this side. So that's how the bridge looks like. I'm so proud for the for these developments that are happening in this country, you know. So, guys, if you have liked this video, just comment down below. Look at how many beams have been put over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six beams. Uh, that's amazing. Six beams per low. Six beams per low. So that they can uh, they can be able to hold this bridge. Because like they are like very heavy vehicles that are passing over this bridge. So this was a little ton of work and the engineer did an amazing job. So guys Well, 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 as a pedestrian, as you walk along this footbridge, you will feel the ambience of the environment that surround this bridge, you know. And uh, for that reason, or for that case, for those who don't know, Mombasa is an island and is connected with bridges from the south, from the east, channeled by ferries and everything like that. And the reason is why I am telling you that you are going to feel the ambience of the environment surrounding this bridge is that as you walk along this bridge, or well, this is the walking path whereby pedestrian and motorist walk or uh, use, and this is the highway or the road where the motorists use on heavy or heavy vehicles. And uh, look at this. This is the Indian Ocean. How cute is it? Look at that. You're just walking on the bridge, yet your eyes are in the ocean. Or you're being the ocean. How beautiful is it? So guys, you can tell that uh, the Republic of Kenya is trying to facelift the face of this country and building bridges, uh, recreational parks, so many things to create a good uh, environment for the people of the Republic of Kenya to work, you know? Look at that, guys. It's amazing. That is the Indian Ocean and you can see from there down, people are still working day in, day out. So guys, if you know what is the name of that site, you can tell me on my description or in the comment section, let me know.
so guys don't forget to leave a sweet comment and uh, maybe you can suggest for me something else all uh, video ideas what I'm supposed to do so those are street sites over here so at night I think this bridge is lit up and it looks wonderful and see so that is the ocean over here guys that is it for today and uh, if you have liked this video please consider to subscribe and uh, give me some video suggestions and another thing that has amazed me look behind me flags for each and every country that is an absolutely amazing like that shows how Kenya or the Republic of Kenya is willing to correlate with other countries because putting someone's country in one's country soil that shows the solidarity and uh, good correlation if you're able to spot your country from here just type down like let me see which country I know like this one here this is Germany uh, what else and I cannot be able to name all the countries over there. You can see there is Brazil and that the, this one, Botswana, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Canada, Cameroon, all the countries of the and others that I have never known. So that is for today. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and follow me on my Instagram. So, goodbye and see you on the next vlog. Peace.